What's good, everybody? Chris. Chris goes outdoors. Last minute trip. Heading up to a Welsh Dicky Trail. Welsh Dicky Loop. Up in New Hampshire. We're about 15 minutes away. Sun's broken through. It's nice. Not really cloudy anymore. It's probably in the mid 70s right now. So, heading up there. Trying to knock out this hike. Pretty short, two mountains, about four and a half miles. So, let's do this thing. So, made it to the trailhead. Just getting my stuff ready. Decent amount of people here, but you know, Ting, group of like 10 people just went up there. So, get ready, we'll head on up. Heading up to the Welch Mountain first. Not too far up, but nice little uh, waterfall here. I guess I wouldn't really call it a waterfall. <laughs> well, like a stream or whatever, but nice little area. Probably come hang out here afterward, maybe. Soak the feet. Rest the laurels, as they say. Already reached the top of Welch. It's like a mile, two miles, like straight up almost. But you'll be able to see from the thing. A lot of people up here, but not bad. Oh geez, the view though. That view though. Morning. Yeah, nice. we need all the views. That's really cool. I won't get in it because you don't have a wide angle. Ton of people up here, but look at that view. That view, though. Selfie city up here. This is awesome. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So. be another we're still up top here but it looks like there's another little a lookout over here so I'm gonna go creep that quick see what we got here not as cool as the other one it's still cool but oh man majestic hawk floating in the air over there maybe the best bang for your buck hike I've been on it took 20 minutes to get over here goes pretty straight up but 20 minutes 20 minutes just on a little midpoint another cool little lookout area partly cloudy but still freaking awesome from the Boston area no traffic Saturday morning took me about two hours to get up here and it's about a 20 minute hike up which is insane for the views that you're getting hop over here quick ask you to be careful not to step on the vegetation which of course is fine but it's all rock here so very steep coming up between them but we'll keep on heading up another group in front of me i just wanted to give them a little time to get ahead this is a little a lookout point not too shabby. You can see up here. Still, I mean, best bang for the buck. One of the best bang for the buck hikes I've seen. 20 minutes, 20 minute walk from the trail. <laughs> I'd probably avoid coming up here when it's slippery. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say, it's a little steep coming up. Probably not a good idea if it's slippery, but leg workout, cardio workout. I'm moving really slow. I gotta stop talking. Got another little look out here. There's a lot of uh, scrambles and stuff coming up this way, but very cool. So we're 
up here. I think this is Welsh, technically, where we are now. I think where I was before was not. So supposedly this is Welsh, and then Dicky is up over that way. But these views, dude, and it's so close to the like road, it's, it's nuts. It took uh, maybe an hour and a half, and I spent a lot of time chilling to get up here. Hour and a half to get up here, I spent a ton of time chilling. Like, ton of time. The views up here are phenomenal. Just like hang out, chill. You can get up here super early. I didn't get to the parking lot here till almost 10 o'clock. It's noon time right now and we're already up in up in the mountain, so. Just were a ton of people up here, but I wanted to wait for them to clear out. I didn't want to be all in their face, you know, recording video, but. Serious. The, the moderately terrifying. Don't slip. See the little mountain we were just on over there? Nice little view. So you can see, I think we're on top of Dickie now. You can see the mountain we were on previously. Over there. Not a long walk, maybe like 10 minutes, but pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of little scrambles and stuff like that so it was a good time the views up here are pretty cool a little hard to get fully cleared um because of the tree line but you can see you know all off over there i'm assuming once i break over there you'll be able to see over there too so cool just coming down the trail from dicky mount dicky kind of cool there's a lot of these Big slabs of rock. Very uh, straight down, if you will. So, something to be aware of. So you can see, I just actually came down this, back around this way. But there's a ton of this like slab, straight down stuff. The wet spots are a little slippery, but it's certainly nothing bad. Um, this is so far. I'm uh, on the way down. This has been a cool hike. Not not really difficult and you get some ridiculous views. It's a quick drive from Boston, if you're in the Boston area. It took me about two hours to get here from Boston, just south of Boston. And yeah, the views you get are ridiculous. You're at the top at a lookout within like 20 minutes of hiking. So, very cool. There was a uh, maintenance crew up here on my way up too. So I said thank you to those guys because uh, if it wasn't for maintenance people, you wouldn't be coming up here. You'd be in the jungle. So if you ever see those guys, say thank you. Or this slab. Arguably the best part. They point arrows in the direction you're gonna go. Cause I was definitely about to walk down there. Just walking down some more slab. Everything's super well marked up here. Carns everywhere. There's gold, uh, yeah, gold. <gasps> There's uh, yellow blazes marking the trail. Most of them have arrows, as I probably showed earlier, to like point you where you're supposed to go. It's just view after view. See? Another nice opening here. It's uh, one of the mountains we were up earlier. I don't know which one, but oh well. But yeah, nice opening. Pump the uh, the weather change. This morning it was cloudy as hell down in Boston area. Projected to be pretty cloudy up here, and it is, but like sunny cloudy. So yeah, great day. It's pretty cool out. Maybe mid 70s. Sun's beaming down, probably gonna get torched. My pasty skin melts in like 10 seconds, but I don't know, might have been worth it. Very cool, like, slope up here. I mean, don't fall off, because it's uh, 
You're going right down. You're not going to make that. <laughs> but you can see Welsh is over there. Um, Diggy is over there. So, cool. Very cool. I, this place is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I, I am at a loss for words. It's just like legit view after view after view up here. So, yeah. All right, just taking off now. Get back to the parking lot. It took about four hours total. I spent a good amount of time just waiting around, checking out the views. There's so many spots up there with views. So I couldn't recommend that thing more. Really not that hard either. So if you're looking to, you know, break into something quick and you don't really want to commit that much. It's a two hour ride from the Boston area if there's no traffic. And you could probably get that done, I bet, easily if you didn't like sit around a lot, three hours. So I got up uh, got up here right around 10 started. It's 2.15 now, so. And I spent a lot of time waiting around. I cooked a meal up there, so. Yeah, it was awesome, so checking out. Gonna drive back now. This is Chris, Chris Goes Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. What's up, everybody? Chris here, Chris Goes Outdoors. We made it up, we're in New Hampshire today. Heading to do a three day, I'll put the the map up on the thing, but doing a three day hike. Carter Dome, bunch of the Carter.